Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? How are your day? Good, good. Very productive. <laughs> oh, you're still with the with the science fair, uh, science uh, technology fair. Technology. Yes, it was good actually. Thank God the kids demonstrated their skills. That That's, was great. Yeah. Yeah. At the end, we were like very proud of them. Very tired, but it was it was really really great they were yes. happy as well they enjoy they had a lot of congratulations messages so it was really cool they feel so proud from them yeah really proud really proud of the work they have done excellent nice good evening Catherine. good evening fatima i see vitelia as well saying good evening welcome it's Friday. <laughs> Thanks God. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Yes, and then we have a weekend. And then next week we have a holiday. True. Wednesday. November the 2nd. Yes, it's going to be on Wednesday. That's right. So November the 2nd, it's a holiday. So most likely you won't have classes. Maybe, sure. maybe 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 they give us uh November third, like <laughs> <laughs> like September. Well, who knows? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this new rules, new laws, yeah. <laughs> new era. <laughs> who knows? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, anything can be expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about your day? How was it? A little bit tired running like all Fridays. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I it's think everywhere. I everywhere. Yeah. I think I I I'm gonna go tomorrow and Sunday. Oh god, you have a busy weekend. Yeah. Okay. Get ready. <laughs> okay. Part of the show. I know. <laughs> and the show must go on. Yeah. True, true, true. Well, but at least we're here. We're fine. We have a job, and that's Thanks a blessing. God. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, let's rock and roll, anyways. <laughs> Start it. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Good evening. Say good evening on the chat. Don't forget your messages. Yeah, say hello, say how you feel, say how your day was. Uh -huh. Wish a great evening to your classmates. It's all right. And of course, we have to have the attendance. Let's see, today is Friday, October the 28th. Next Monday is Halloween <laughs> for American people, you know, their customs, their traditions. Actually, I've been watching videos that they have been preparing. Also, Mexicans, you know, have very, very big traditions for these holidays. Yes, they do have a lot of... They love Halloween. Yeah, maybe not necessarily Halloween. Well, Americans do. Yeah. But Mexicans, they do love Dia de los Muertos. And they have these big altars and decorations and getting, you know, all the makeup as Katrina's and stuff like that. And they say it's a, it's a very, very interesting celebration in Mexico. You know, they love this type of <coughs> holidays and traditions. And they also visit their, their cemeteries, probably, so they can bring food, flowers. Drinks. And, yes, drinks, music as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, just November the 2nd, yeah. But people do, you know, like different stuff for, for business as well. Because 
they prepare some products, they go sale, they take advantage of the occasion so they can, you know, get some incomes. And that's you going do, do you go to cemetery in this state? I used to, but okay. let's say about five years ago, I stopped going because it's really crowded. And then I, I mean, I used to take my mom. Okay. So now she has more difficulties going around. So I told her that we can go any other day. Yeah, it's better. Uh -huh. And it's easier and cheaper and flowers are cheaper. Because she usually yeah. likes, yeah, she has both her parents in, in El Vasco Cemetery. So I tell her we can go any other day and the, the flowers are going to be cheaper and more accessible so we can get there easier but you can find abuelas mm, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and all the food <laughs> Not know, only yeah. abuelas, a lot of food a lot of typical things they sell exactly it's true yeah the the other thing that i don't know if if it happens everywhere but at least over there in in that town they sell what do you call it like typical food, like pastelitos, yuca, and all those stuff. I don't know people like to cook outside at the cemetery. And uh, sorbete de carreton. Uh, <laughs> so those snacks probably are not there. Well, I like to go in, an in another day. Yeah, my mom, I, I bet sometimes she goes with my brother, but the day before or yeah. the day after probably. One, yeah, one of my brother take her. Okay. Yes. All right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening to the rest. We have yes yeah, some greetings on the chat. If you like to read them, it would be great. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. All right. Nice. Actor says good evening, teacher and everyone. How's life treating you? this day <laughs> better good okay fine not bad all right yes it's time for the attendance let's have the attendance take care adriana present hello uh let's see who else carlos hasn't returned <laughs> okay from chalate he says yesterday he was christina yes, teacher. hello elsie not yet fatima present teacher hello Fermán. present teacher from el salvador now yes okay great <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Good. very happy. It's Friday. <laughs> yes. It was a busy week. Yeah. <laughs> it was, right? Hector. Present teacher. Welcome. Isabel. Isabel. Not yet. Hasn't returned home. <laughs> Catherine. Present teacher. Hello. Lucy. Present. All right, Mayra. Present. Hello, hello. Nori. Nori, not yet. Nori must be traveling to San Alejo. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, she said she travels to San Alejo and Pasaquina from San Miguel. Okay. Uh, Roberto Carlos, not yet. Samuel. Present. Of course. Vitelia. Present. Welcome. Walter. Good night. Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Wendy. Not yet. And Irma. Are you here? No. Busy, busy. Okay. Well, let's have a look of what we have to study. Let me check. Yes. Welcome. 
Well, this is just Friday. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I better have to double check this thing. Hold on. Yes, this is our session number 10, right? Friday, October 28th. Yes. Okay, here we go. And of course, here's the reminders of today's class. We continue working with the same class objectives. So it's the same unit. We're still describing procedures. Okay, and making suggestions, it says here, and design a basic checklist to evaluate procedures. So everything related to procedures in different area of a restaurant, right? That's an interesting thing. So yesterday we started talking and introducing the words, you know, like sequence words to describe processes or procedures, right? So the most common ones, I told you there are some others, but the most common one probably first, after that, then finally they present four, four of them. So then we were practicing the procedures for processing a payment that was presented through the lesson. And then we had an activity. Do you remember the activity? Mm -hmm. Yes, there were some <laughs> difficult customers, right? Okay, difficult customers. And then they were presented over here. Says, Do you ever meet difficult customers? Mm -hmm. Just one of the situations below and list and describe as steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Then present your process to the class, right? And we were discussing what would be the procedures. You have to choose one, and then you have to list the steps, right? Then you have to describe the steps that you could use to deal with that customer. Okay, <clears throat> do you have that information already? Did you finish creating the steps? Or not yet. You have one or two steps not or yet. three? Not yet. You're still in progress. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to give you two more minutes to finish the steps. Finish describing the steps. Remember to use the words, right? First, after that, then you finished. You are ready. All right, Picture great. Picture about is for each or only one? Just for one. You choose one. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, because if we, we do all of them, then we will have to write 25. <laughs> and that will be a lot. Okay. You have to describe only one. You choose any of the numbers Ready? Go 
ready, ready, ready. Okay, we're gonna share the case of the difficult customers that we choose. Then we're gonna share the steps of the procedure that we think we should follow in order to deal with this customer. Okay, let's see. We're gonna share with our partner first and then we're gonna share with the class. And if you haven't finished, of course, you can help. You can support your partner. Yes, we're gonna create the groups and here we go. Se pone a trabajar, Adrián, <ríe> conmigo. <risa> Teníamos rato. Ok. Uh, yo entendí que podíamos elegir uno y explicar, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál eligieron ustedes? Yo elegí el primero. Ok. ¿Y usted, Walter? Number four. Number four. Uh, number five. Me quedé con ese, pero todavía no le he dado la razón. Ajá. Solo le leí. Entonces. Yes, me too. I have to, to end uh, uh, the process. Uh, I have to. Eh, ¿Vamos a utilizar alguna conclusión? ¿O es con las palabras de nosotros? Por ejemplo, yo cool o algo por el estilo. No, porque no estuve en la clase de ayer, por eso consulto. Ah. Um, lo que dice, bueno, la, la licenciada dice que vamos a utilizar las palabras que se utilizan en la, uh, para hacer secuencia, sequence words, eh, que son first, after that. Usted tiene el que había elegido escrito. Eh, sí, ahorita. 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 Vamos a ver. Yo creo que lo. Teacher. Please. Hello. Eh, por favor, nos puede poner la, la imagen donde están los cinco problemas. Oh, yes, sure. Right now. Thank you, teacher. All right. <laughs> De remate estamos tarde y pidiéndolo. <ríe> Ay, no, qué pena. Bueno, el mío, eh, quería leerlo textualmente, pero el mío dice que qué haría si la gente se está quejando porque el cajero está muy lento. Uh -huh. Entonces, el mío es, eh, the customer is calling upset because he refused the wrong delivery order. Yes. Uh -huh. sí. El a mío, que la gente se queja porque reciben el... el la, la orden equivocada, el pedido. Ah, bueno. Uh -huh. bueno, entonces yo había puesto, I could see what is the legend to quit and solve the problem separately. Sepa Ay, separado, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Separa, Charlie, se escribe. Separate, pero... separately. Separate. 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 Yes. Separate. Entonces, como solventar el problema de esta persona que está retrasando aparte para que los demás no estén molestos. Mm -hmm. First, es the first. Sixth. Mm -hmm. Ajá, pero de como ah, aquí está. we have to say eh, eh, siguiendo los pasos eh, que vimos los últimos. Sí. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. 
Bueno, ustedes ya respondieron a las preguntas, a la, a, o ya, ya solucionaron. La, la number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. You, Fátima. I the number one, but just three reasons. Three. Uh, uh -huh. I chose the number two. <laughs> es, 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 qué coincidencia. Si quiere, entonces vamos en ese orden. Number two, Fátima. Number two, no, me. Hey, yo tengo la cuatro. Ah, la cuatro. Sí, Antes tendríamos dos. Sí. Dos, tres y cuatro. <laughs> Okay. Number two, number three, and number four. Uh -huh. Okay. Number two. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. Sorry? One, number one, number two, and number four. Ah, you have two choices. Este, I'm just number one. Uh-huh. Your number two and Vitalian number four. And number four. Okay. Okay. I wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> number two, eh, Fatima. Number one, sorry. The microphone is off. Fatima. Uh, uh, yeah, my customer is hungry because his food was was in delivery on time. First, give an apologize. Second, uh -huh. I offer a courtesy dessert. And third, promise I make the observation to my boss to improve delivery times. Just that. Okay. Uh, my election and a choice is number two. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh, for me, number one is calm to calm. Call to calm. Hey, take it easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> number two, ask for the problem. And number three, if the customer continue aggressive, call for security. Hey, man. That's it. Oh. Number four. Ah, number four. Yo estaba esperando que siguiera. <laughs> I think they do cause customer discomfort. Solution to the issue with the customer. Uh, the fourth step uh, could be offer other food more for uh, the issue with um, delivery. And the last step is sell to the customer that her or his order will be paid only the half of the price. Okay. Eh, número todas ahí. Perdón. Esas son todas para todos. Se puso una de cada uno. No, como dice cinco, es que como ya dijo que escogiéramos ayer una, un, un solo ah. issue. Yo hice ah. todas, por eso, para... <laughs> ¿O si es el Esta... número uno? Eh, no, hice el número cuatro. The customer is calling upset because he was room Ok. Hey, yo hice todo. Sí. Solo la última, no estoy segura porque... A group of customer are getting... Upset because the the cashier is too slow. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, for me, talk to customer and explain the the reason for delay. And do the job faster. Mm -hmm. 
faster and rápido. Sí. So that the customer per, per se that you are no sé cómo poner. Bueno, so a mí solo me ocurre que hablen con la gente y, <ríe> y que expliquen mm -hmm. la razón y que se apure. Eh, Es um, could be uh, uh, have to the market or the supermarket have to another uh, cashier uh, and also I don't know help to the cashier the system uh -huh. exactly Por eso para mí sería como de explain the reason for the delay and do the job faster. Faster. Vaya, armémoslo. Basta de the last one that. Uh, yo cogí las cinco. The mind, a customer, a customer is calling upset because he receives the ground delivery order. First, uh, give an apology for the hero uh, to the customer. After that, ask to, to, ask to the customer if, if uh, they accept the wrong um, delivery. Then, uh, if the customer don't receive uh, the wrong delivery, uh, yeah. the um, the restaurant uh, offer a uh, uh, come back the money and in the <laughs> and finally the customer accept the the devolution. Return, no, no, <ríe> veamos qué, <ríe> qué cosa tenía tu micrófono apagado. No, pero está bien, solo está más o menos así lo, lo, sí. lo logré, digamos, porque como es como decir si en, en mi caso recibir algo equivocado es como, mire, como cómo lo va a solventar, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Pero, Exacto. pero sí, uh -huh. Uh -huh. con los cuatro, con los cuatro, uh -huh. first, after that, then, finally. ¿Y usted ya había escogido alguno, Isabel? No, ahorita estoy tratando de hacer Escoja uno. Okay. uno y démosle, pues armémoslo. Sí, a, a, lo, a lo rápido. Pues sí, escoja del uno al tres. A todos nos agarró el tráfico de viernes, ay, no. Uy, sí, sí, qué terrible. Está molesto. Ah, dice el primero que está molesto porque no le llegó la comida. A Customer is angry because his phone was not the the library on time. On time. Está enojado. Uh -huh. el que no le llegó la comida en el tiempo establecido. ¿Qué haríamos ahí? Uh, una regalía, pero si ya el muchacho llegó. Aquí hay un cliente agresivo con los empleados. Es is very aggressive to one of the employees. Employees. Ah, y miren, este cliente no va a pagar la comida. <laughs> El que dijo que encontró un toothpick, toothpick in his food. Un, pali, un palito, ¿verdad? Un palillo. Un palillo es eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Cuál escogemos? No sé, nunca han visto, nunca han visto videos de, en el banco que está una persona gritándole a la, a la cajera. Y entonces, y que le agarra la, un montón, todas las cosas y empieza a tirarle. Entonces yo digo que cuando ya es muy agresivo, es mejor llamar a la seguridad para que lo vayan sacando. No, que hay clientes. Especial, especial. Horrible, horrible. ¿Y lo suyo, Fátima? Es... Remember us. Um, 
give a apologize. Ah, well, I, uh -huh. I offer a course to see dessert. And promise I make the observation to, to the boss to improve delivery times. Mm. Okay. The name you will apologize. Apologize. Disculpa. Mm -hmm. No. Pide disculpas. Uh -huh. Después ofrece un postre de cortesía. Uh -huh. Y promete el, el pasar la observación al jefe para mejorar los tiempos de entrega. Está uh bien. -huh. Sí. Aunque a mí ya me ha tocado esperar bastante tiempo por la comida y se me va la hora de almuerzo y nunca llega la comida. Y no me ofrecen ni siquiera, mire, ¿no? el tráfico está pesado. Sí, me ha pasado a mí una hora esperando y... ¿Una hora? Sí, se le olvidó. Y ¿Sí? le llamo y se me olvidó. Me dice la gente. Sí. No. Sí. Como que se le olvidó. Sí, sí. Ya me ha pasado así una hora esperando. Entonces, la, una de las veces, pues le dije que ya no, que ya no le iba a pagar. Ya la devolví. ¿Y no le cobran antes en la tarjeta o puede pagar con efectivo? No, no, es que eh, son así de los comedores. Ahí Ajá, yo así he pedido también. Ajá, pero este, como se cancela al momento de la entrega. Ah. Ajá. Entonces, no, ya no lo sé. Porque después, después de una hora ya está bien frío todo. Sí. Entonces, este, eh, así, no, no, y el detalle es que yo no puedo esperar mucho. Yo, este, yo a las 12 en punto tengo que estar comiendo porque se me complica, se me baja el azúcar y todo queda mal. Ah. Entonces no, no puedo esperar a tanto tiempo. Uh -huh. Entonces, si ya no me lo llevan en 20 minutos, pues estoy a otro lugar. Ah, está bien. Sí. Está bien. Uh -huh. Yo por eso a veces prefiero más ir al comedor, ahí donde me sirven. Sí. Eh, me toca caminar, pero dale, me, ah, incluso me, sabe, me sirve para desestresarme un poco del, sí. del ambiente que, que, que hay en la oficina. Uh -huh. Los que pueden salir, sí, es que yo sí no tengo opción a salir, por eso se pido. Ah, no le creo. Sí, no, yo, yo entro a las 8 y salgo hasta las 5. Así, literalmente. Sí. No tengo opción a salir. Qué yuca. Ajá. Es más pesado, sí. Sí, sí, todo un poco pesado. Ajá. Sí, a mí lo más que me ha pasado es que una vez en comida en Mexican Food <ríe> había un restaurante que eh, yo nosotros llegamos con, con mi esposa, eh, pero estábamos de novio todavía y nada de lo que había en el menú prácticamente había, entonces al final terminamos pidiendo lo poco que había ¿no? y cuando llegó a la hora de, de, de que pedimos el, eh, el, el postre eh, y como si ese postre ya se me olvidó y lo acabamos de hacer. Dessert. 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 Porque dijo Ticho que dessert. Dessert. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, salud. <risa> eh, el, nos ofrecieron café con, con... Ellos le dijeron piquete y yo le dije, pero no le voy a poner chile. Y le, le pusieron... <risa> Esa cosa estaba horrible. Ah, pues nos ofrecieron un, 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 el, el, lo que es la, eh, el, el dessert free. Por el inconveniente. Por el inconveniente. Sí. Es lo más, pero de ahí que me hayan regalado el plato completo, no. Sí, a mí sí, bueno, nosotros satisfechos, pues. Así si hasta yo volviera. No, y volvimos a llegar, pero ya no volvió a pasar lo mismo. Es decir, ya nos cobraron. Y... <risa> ok, está bien. Perfecto. ¿Y usted, Adriana, qué le ha pasado? Mm, pues, no, lo, lo tradicional, la pizza, que te dicen que si, es, si pasa de 30 minutos es gratis. Una, han llegado tarde. Me han hecho eso. 
Pero ver. niña. Sí, qué raro. Porque a mí nunca me ha venido tarde, siempre he venido en, en time. ¿Sabes lo que sí me pasó en la Pizza Hut? Y eso sí, nosotros pedimos una vez una, una hawaiana y nos llevaron eh, una... No me acuerdo si era solo de, de, de hongos o algo así. Pepperoni. Ajá, y nosotros eso no es lo que ordenamos. Y no la dejaron ahí. Ah, de veras. Sí. Eso sí salió de gratis. Ese salió de gratis y nos llevaron después la otra. Ah, bueno. Sí, sí, o sea. Es como Yo tengo parte... entendido que cuando suceden casos así, a quien le cobran y le pasan factura es al delivery. Cuando llegan tarde. Ajá. A de veras. Sí, sí. a él se lo cobra. Uh -huh. Ya ves, por eso es que nunca me ha pasado a mí. <risa> no sabía que a él se lo cobraba. Sí, a él se le pasa la factura. Uy, chica, pero son 12 pesos. Bro. Uh -huh. Pobrecito. Ven. Finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Of course. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Ready to share with the class the procedures that you yes. should and the steps? All right. We're going to start with Walter because it's the first person I have on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then you say who is going to continue. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I select the number, the uh, problem number four. Mm -hmm. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Mm -hmm. um, well, in my opinion, the steps for two procedures. Um, first of all, I have to apologize for the wrong. Then I try to explain what happened with the delivery. Mm -hmm. After that, I have to offer a special discount in the product. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, I have to offer another delivery if, if he wants. Okay, great. Okay. From one, two, three. If you're in the chat. Three, sí, sí, sí. Escucharon que Walter utilizó todas las sequence words. Two, sí, solo utilizó algunas. One, sí, no utilizó ninguna. Vamos a ver cuántos ratings recibe Walter. Y si quieren lo voy a repetir. You can repeat the steps again. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, I have to apologize for the wrong. Mm -hmm. Then I try to explain to the customer what happened with the uh, with the delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, wrong. After that, I have to offer a special discount in the product. And finally, I have to offer another delivery if he wants. If you want. All right. Let's see the rating. Number three. If you listen, that he used all the sequence words. Okay. Two. If he only uses one, I mean one or two. And one in, if he didn't use any. Okay. Four. <laughs> you were given four. <laughs> okay. Four sequence words. Exactly. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Just uh, an explanation. When you talk about delivery, it says a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. It can be the two possibilities, delivery at home or delivered to the table. Yes. It's not that they get a motorcycle and everything, no. That the waiter gets the food from the kitchen 
and bring it to the table. So the food is delivered to the table. Yes. Okay. So it can be both. Okay. Not only when you call from the office or you call from the from the house, it can be also delivered to your table. Okay. So that was great. Okay. Who do you choose to continue, Walter? Uh, okay. Miss, Mrs. Nuri. All right. His compatriot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I choose the same, the, the same that was the same case. The number four. Really? Yeah. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Okay. First, give, give an apology to the customer. After mm -hmm. that, ask the customer if if he um, has accept uh, the wrong delivery. Mm -hmm. um, if the customer don't accept uh, the food, then offer him come back the payment to the order. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, offer uh, free food and uh, uh, send him the forest order. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, the same if you use all the, I mean, if she uses all, all the sequence <laughs> words, number three, if she only uses some, number two, if she didn't use any, number one. Let's see, her rating. Let's do the rating. It was easy to understand because she chooses the same one, <laughs> the same case. Okay, customers calling upset because he received the wrong delivery. Yes, I see. Yes, four, four, four. Nice. All right. Thank you. Who do you choose? Uh, the last one. The, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> the list uh, of participants. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I am watching the, my part. Uh, vamos a ver. Mm, uh, mm, Hector. All right. Yep. Okay. Okie dokie, let wait, um, I have a problem here. Uh, my choice was a uh, number two. Mm -hmm. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, is a uh, first call to the calm. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Call, Peace. Calm down. Uh, it's allowed. <laughs> hey, take it easy, man. Uh, asked for for the problem. Mm -hmm. What situation uh, turned to aggressive the the this this people? Mm -hmm. Number three, if the customer continue aggressive, uh, call to the, for security. Okay, call for security. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. okay, that's it. The Thank sequence you. words? Sorry. First, calm down. First, call to calm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Call down. Then, number two is ask for the problem. After that, after that, uh -huh. uh, ask and, to describe and then, the problem. And then, <laughs> and then, okay. Calling for security uh -huh. if the, if the customer continue aggressive. All right, good. Okay. Okay, the rating, please. How many seconds were in here? Next. Next. <laughs> yes, oh. choose somebody else. I'm sorry. Um, all right, all right. Three. Mr. Ferman. Ferman. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> You're my best friend. You're welcome, my friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, 
I chose I choose the question number five. Mm -hmm. yeah, first, I will try to count customer listing the claim. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, I will look help to the customer uh, giving the possible solution. Mm -hmm. Then I'll uh, I can treat uh, um, to a speed a speed out to the payment through another cashier. Um, finally, I will take the payment with the change the, to the customer. Okay. How many? How many sequence words did you hear? Okay, four. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. One more. One more participant, please. Um okay. It's very a difficult decision. Yeah, cualquiera me puede odiar, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay, Samuel. I know it. I know it. The <laughs> Good decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, number five. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. The first one, if I was the manager of the restaurant, I going to the table and uh, give them apologize because my cashier is too slow. Uh, and I try to explain the place is full. And in this moment, we have a lot of checks, uh, uh, a lot of bill to, to, to process and, and, and put in the, in the cashier. Then I uh, get to the table, the card reader, and uh, uh, if they're going to pay in a, with a credit card or receive the money if they pay in, in cash, mm -hmm. uh, give a, another apologize. And maybe, maybe if they are very, very upset, uh, give them a coffee or a, a little dessert to calm down and invite them to come back again with us and we don't play too much. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay, let's rate. Let's do the rating. How many? Four, four, four. All right. Good. Okay, what's this activity somehow difficult for you to think of a possibility, what to do, the steps? No? Is the the most common strategies that people use to try to please the customer when the customers are not happy with any procedure which is the best one to talk to them or to offer them something free the second one <laughs> definitely yeah i know you would agree with me yes as i hear you you were describing when those situations have happened to you as a customer I think it's easy to relate, right? Yeah, that made me think once it happened to us. Yes, it's it's pretty hard when you only have one hour for lunch and you hurry up because you, you want to take advantage of that hour. And sometimes you go with a group of colleagues or because of any, any special occasion and probably the service is not as fast as you expect sometimes. And then you realize that you don't have time to eat anymore and that you were supposed to eat and that you were supposed to uh, 
celebrate or commemorate something and then yeah it happens to us once we have spent like the whole hour just there they only brought the drink but they never brought the food so when we only had like 10 minutes to go back to the office we told them that we were gonna cancel the order and they say no here's the food you can take it for free it's like oh we can eat on the car so while we get back to the office <laughs> so they had all the boxes ready and they said no you can take it i was like we came just to fool around in the place and then we took the, the food back to the offices oh but that is thinking as a thinking as a customer but what about thinking as an employee as a manager right sometimes it's hard to handle all right so what i want you to see here is the the use right the use of the sequence words okay because this is something we've been practicing since yesterday and of course we have some other sequence words i chose this image and definitely i told you there are many sequence words okay they only present like the most common four but here we have when something is beginning in the middle for interruption and for ending like at the beginning or in the beginning both are possible once upon a time first of all first firstly initially once one day to begin, to start, today, yesterday, in the middle, like in the middle of the process, you can say the next day, later that day, meanwhile, yes, Hector, tell me. The million question. Yes. <laughs> For me, what the difference in an at? In an at. In the beginning. At in the, at the beginning. beginning, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Both are possible. Some, some regions of the world where English is spoken, they say in the beginning. Some other world, I mean, some other countries, they might say at the beginning, both. What do you prefer? In, in the beginning. If it, if it make you feel more confident, it's fine. You can say in um, the beginning. It's yes. in or uh -huh. on the side of the same country. And sometimes they, they sometimes it's or... that Americans use in and British use at. Oh. Or sometimes it's vice versa. But I since we are not in any of the countries, we can use any. <laughs> right? It happens the same with on and at. For example, in British, they usually say at the weekend. In American, it says on the weekend. And both are correct. Oh, okay. And um, entonces, depending the uh, the country. Yes, pero ambas están correctas. Lo que yo les digo es que, ok, pero si nosotros no somos ninguno de los dos países, no podemos usar cualquiera de los dos, puedo usar las dos si quiero. <laughs> no hay que tomar partido. <laughs> ok. Yes. Actually, eso lo hace como más flexible, because... Y aún así, a veces hay también differences, como que es más acostumbrado, sometimes in Canada or in the United States. For example, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving es una tradición que se hace en ambos países, solo que en fechas diferentes. Ah, de, really? Yeah. <laughs> He vivido engañado también. <laughs> yes, for Americans it's the fourth. The fourth Thursday of uh, November. And for Canadians, I think it's I'm not quite sure. But it's in a different day. What is the dinner in the UK? <laughs> Turkey? No. No, I... the UK? The UK they don't even no. It's is for Canada and the United States. But UK they don't have Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, okay. Ellos no, ellos no tuvieron inmigrants. <laughs> <laughs> sure. yes. for, the, for the United States people, it's very often uh, say Turkey Day. 
for yeah. it for me it, it is uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's que, que es que es muy valioso. Yeah, it's not turkey. Uh -huh. Turkey y rapidito lo detectan que usted es Latin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanksgiving in Canada. Let's see. Imagine. Thanksgiving in Canada is even in October. <laughs> Yes, it's a month before. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, true. And the United States is always the fourth, the fourth uh, Thursday, because they usually have like the first Monday, the second Monday for holidays, they usually have that. They don't have a specific date. They always choose like the last Friday of May or the first Monday of July and things like that. The only thing that, I, that they have established a day is for the 4th of July for the independence because it's a, it's a history day. But then the others, they just put it like that, like Father's Day, like Mother's Day, they usually put it like the second Sunday of May. So no matter what the day is. Mm -hmm. So yes, as I was mentioning in the middle, right? So when, when we are given steps or sequence in the middle, we say the next day, later that day, meanwhile, after a while, furthermore, subsequently, after that, in addition, moreover, before, then, later, soon, next, second, thirdly, and further, another also. For interruption, you say, suddenly, all of a sudden, but then, and for ending, in conclusion, in conclusion is repeated. <laughs> okay, to summarize at the end, by the end, you see, at the end, by the end, in the end. <laughs> so you can use any of them to conclude at last, by this point, afterwards, lastly, finally, after all, and eventually. These are some of the sequence words, you know. So just to have an idea that we only have studied four. First, after that, then finally. So it's like because you are only describing procedures, right? So something that you already have established. It's not that you are narrating a long story, right? So that's why they only provide with four. Okay. Let's have a look at the attendance. I see more people now. All right, let me see. Okay, Adriana. Carlos, not here, right? Cristina? No, he's sick. He's sick, all right. Elsie? He got sick in Cabañas. <laughs> Fatima? Present teacher. Hi. Fernan? Present teacher. Nice. Hector? Present. Isabel? Mm. Finally arriving home, Isabel. Yes. Finally. Present teacher. Adriana is here. Ah, yeah, dear. Yeah, it was terrible, right? I need to connect my computer to it. Okay, no problem, don't worry. Okay. Present yes. teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, Catherine. Okay, please, Lucy. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Roberto is sick, I guess. He says, no, Samuel. Present. Italia. Walter. Present. Wendy. Irma. Present, teacher. Hi. I am sick. Estaré solo de oyente. Yes, don't worry. Hope you feel better. Yes. Okay. Oh my sure. God. Yes. Are you listening? Yes, yes. yes my yes. assistant. Yes, yes, yes. Don't okay. worry, Catherine. 
you've got a tendency, don't worry. Yeah, talking about getting sick, be careful. Many people are getting sick, a lot. Actually, we had this fair in the, in the foundation and three of the teenagers were really, really sick. So the doctor told them, well, <laughs> one could, could recover. Take care because uh, in November could be another time of COVID. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they try to play with us. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, the hell dog called this kind of variant. I don't get it. How? What's uh, that? Is another you know another type of virus or what? Yep. It's the same but another kind of variant. I know. And how many are we going to have? Your variant. The, el perro del infierno se llama. Are you serious? Era puesto nada más el 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 perrito de Satanás para variar un poco. Pues para que sea más suave, ¿verdad? Para que se haga menos. No way. ¿Quién le pondrá esos nombres a los virus? Algunos desocupado. We don't have doctors in this class to explain. <clears throat> Maybe we can invite the the minister of health. <laughs> ¿Qué daño le habrán hecho a ese pobre que le puso ese nombre? <risa> yeah. ¿Qué daño le habrá hecho al perrito? Wow. Yes, I, as I was telling you, these kids got like really, really sick and the, and, and the doctor told us, no, they cannot participate. And they felt like terrible because they, they thought they were abandoning their partners in the, in the team because they have been working for about six months six months on this project. I know it's a programming. It was a programming project, so they felt bad, really, really bad. But anyways, only one could recover and she was there participating, but the other two didn't make. Wow. So let's be careful. Yes, true. It's a reminder of being careful. All right, let's move on, let's continue. Okay, just as a reference, this is the conversation where the sequence words were introduced, right? So in case you need to check it out, <clears throat> sorry, you can, you know, take a look at it. It is all right first. Of course, there is a there is an employee, a cashier, most likely, who says, "Sir, I forgot to process. I forgot the process of. Oh no, sorry, to process a payment for the process of, you know, getting a payment. Right. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. Yeah, how would you like to pay, cash or credit card? Right." Or debit card, even right after it's that. the day of the month. <laughs> <laughs> right after that, take the payment and put it in the register, or you slide the card through the card reader. Yeah, and now you cannot even. I mean, you can even just get the card close to the coast, right? And that, and that is by contact. You no, know? they have this. Um, how do you call them? They're super sensitive. Kind of a scanner, I guess, right? So they scan the card for your number, and then you get the, the amount that you gotta pay. Then the register prints the receipt, and you give it back to the customer. And finally, the customer signs the receipt, and you keep a copy. Yes, and another another improvement that probably they have done on this system of so pay is that now some business don't even uh, make you sign 
they only give you the receipt and they say okay it was a fast charge and then you just go right and then we were talking about these issues and then you were thinking about the ways you know to deal with it okay it's just one of the situations below and let's then describe the steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer right so you say first i do this this and this then i do this this and this and after that i do this this and this and finally i send the customer home <laughs> okay so you can say like different different steps right okay and here you have the explanation of the use of the adverse and transition expressions. It says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. I'm going to give you one minute for you to read all this information. And then I'm going to ask the volunteers to read different parts and to ask or clarify questions in case you have. All right, so I'm going to give you some time for you to take a look, okay, of the explanation. One minute. Catherine, would you please read the first explanation or the definition of transition words? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from one idea to the next. Thank you. Okay. So as we were practicing these uh, exercises before, we notice, right, that we use this transition words, okay, first, then, after that, right. So transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from one idea to the next. All right. <clears throat> then we're going to listen to Mini 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 Mo Lucy. In these words, I think Lucy is not listening. Okay, so let's listen to Ferman. I'm sorry, teacher, I'm driving right now. Oh, Jesus Christ, be careful. Don't cause an accident. We're gonna, okay. yeah, we're gonna have Ferman help you. Don't worry. Okay, hi. <laughs> When these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma. Exactly. So when these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma. Let's see. <clears throat> Wait a second. I think I don't get the spotlight. Okay. Like first comma, right? You have to give option to the customer. After that, you have to take the payment. In English, una oración, una sentence, es generalmente una idea completa. Okay? No es que va a ir justamente al inicio de la línea, no. Puede ir como en medio, pero después de un punto, inicia otra oración, ¿ya? Entonces, ahí ya se convierte que la frase o la transition word esté al inicio de la senda. Vale, para los que de repente me dicen, no entiendo, I'm confused. Vamos a escribir acá. Vamos a escribir de ambos. Let's talk about a customer that is angry because the food was late. 
es el caso que varios habían elegido, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a elegir el color blue, muy bonito. Ok, ¿cuáles son los steps que seguirían ustedes para lidiar con esta situación? Ustedes me dicen, first, I, sorry, sorry, I talked to the customer, to the client. Ok, hasta aquí ya llegó una idea. Then, como siempre, I right? apologize. Ajá, uh -huh. then, I offer an apology, right? Or I apologize, right? Entonces, como se se fijan, first, I do this, this, and this, punto. Ahí termina mi primera idea. Entonces, first va al inicio de esta oración. Por eso escribo la coma. Then, I do this, this, and this. Entonces, también va una coma. Obviously, como estamos como enumerando o dando la secuencia de lo que haríamos, todas esas palabras de transition van al, al inicio de la oración, al inicio de la idea. Entonces, por eso se le pone una coma, right? Como para decir, luego haría esto o hago esto, right? And finally, también igual, right? So it says, first, you have to give options to the customer. After that, you have to take the payment or afterwards. Afterwards and after that significa lo mismo lo que están tratando de explicar acá. After that, afterwards. Yes, the same. Cualquiera de las dos que usted quiera usar está diciendo exactamente lo mismo. So afterwards, you have to take the payment. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you give a copy. Yes? Okay. Ok, aquí tienen un exercise. Vamos a guardar esa parte. You have to, ok, how to create an effective training manual. Vaya, aquí vamos a leer. Look at the box above, obviamente la explicación que está arriba, and complete the following paragraph. Use punctuation necessary. ¿Qué es lo de punctuation que vamos a tomar en cuenta? Que después de una sequence word vamos a escribir una. Coma. 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 Exactly. Entonces, como es un ejercicio escrito, por eso se lo piden. Of course, cuando uno habla, no dice first, coma, y después dice la idea. Eso no existe. Pero si sí uno hace la pausa, right? First, you have to do this and this. Then, you do this, this and this, right? Entonces, este exercise, ustedes le van a agregar esos sequence words. Y lo que está describiendo el párrafo es. Look at the box above and complete the following paragraph. Add the punctuation where necessary. El párrafo describe los pasos para crear. How to create. Ah, de entrenamiento. An effective training manual. Un manual efectivo de entrenamiento. Yes. ¿Estamos claros qué es lo que hay que hacer? Are we clear? Vale. Vamos a trabajar en los teams, solo que vamos a trabajar con alguien más. Voy a mostrar. Hmm, I think so. Ahorita les comparto el screenshot.
This is solution. Thank you, Hector. Okay, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> este, perdón, eh, Walter, pero es que teníamos esa duda. That's a matter. No, no problem. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Eh, ya compartió la teacher, ¿cómo se llama? Sí, ahorita. Sí. Ahorita. Hola. Hola. Así es, ¿verdad? Que vamos a poner ahí las transition words. Transitions. ¿Verdad? Hola. La puntuación necesaria. ¿Dónde lleva la puntuación necesaria? Eh. Sí, sure. Eh. Yes. Vamos a escribir ¿verdad? las transi transitions words. Uh -huh. That's okay. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And only that. Word. That's all. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, your mind, Vitalia. Um, Sorry. Uh, first, you have to complete an analyst, then it is necessary. Yes. Yes. Then it's necessary. Uh -huh. After that, you need to select. Uh -huh. After. And finally, uh -huh. read the manual uh -huh. okay. and print it. Press, yes. I think we need, or oh, oh, we, we can uh, practice the sentence, no, okay. la, la, the paragraph, paragraph. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, we need to practice to read. I don't know who wants to read. I, um, maybe the lady first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies up. Um, first, you have to complete an analyst of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to improve in your company. Then it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. After that, you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Print it. Okay. Okay. What? Tentamos. Sí. Y vamos a poner la cosa. Sí. Uh -huh. sí, es uh -huh. que se pone después de los. Uh -huh. De, de cada secuencia. Vez. In the ah, explanation sí, say when this word are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma. Está arriba, ya vi. First, Barbara. <laughs> Beard, you have my people. teacher, Nuri. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, Ay, so que la quisiera hacer así. <laughs> First, you have to complete an Analysis, así. Analysis. Analysis of the Como training. Analysis, algo así. Analysis, lo han dicho. Analysis. Analysis of the training. New and first. To... ¿Cómo? Okay. Y first también. Mm -hmm. No es first, sino que first. 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 Mm -hmm. first. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and shoes no shoes at the zapatos the process you would like to improve 
in your company. After that, is it is necessary to write the content of divide it in models of chapters. 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 Then chapters. you need to select a manual is style. Style. Style and the if extra digital content is necessary. Fine. Finally, re re revise the manual and print it. Print at. Print it. Wow. Print it. Print. Print it. Print it. Print. Print it. 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 Okay. I need correct pronunciation for okay. and decide. Decide correct pronunciation. What is? What is? And I don't decide. Decide. Style and decide. Correct pronunciation. Decide or decide. Or... Mm, one moment. What is the word? I don't find. Decide. Decide. Finish the chair. All right, no problems. No one. Easy, busy. Easy. easy. Right. Super <laughs> nice. More easy with Adriana. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's super pro. <laughs> yeah. All right, how to create an effective training manual. Uh-huh. Let me know. Sure. Yes, the first word is first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Easy. see. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to improve in your company. Uh -huh. After that or afterwards. After that or afterwards. Let's keep it with after that. Because of the space, I think I gotta move this a little bit. Okay. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. Uh -huh. then, 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 you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. And finally. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Okay? Easy. No difficult words? No difficult no. words to pronounce, to recognize, or to remember the meaning? Yes, Modules, no. teacher? Yes. Modules or Modules. Chapters? Modules, like the pronunciation? Huh? Modules. Like modules, modules. chapters, 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 chapters. Ahí sí es como literal el spelling. Cha, 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 cha. chapters. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes it, that is spelling is kind of tricky because in some cases you don't say uh, like architect. It sounds like like mechanic as well. And but in this case it sounds like cha chapters. Thank you. All right. Any other? 
Uh, mod modules, ¿sí? modules, como Y, como igual como je, es, je, schedule. Je, yeah, schedules. Okay, right, modules, schedules. Ana uh, analysis o analysis. 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 Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, revise. 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 Okay. Revise. Yes. Revise or check. Actually, British usually say revise. But Americans will say check, double check, have a check. <laughs> because you usually make a check when something is correct, right? Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. De hecho, ellos dicen, I have a double check. Yeah, I have a double check on this manual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, somebody else? The teacher, mm -hmm. is manual and print it or print it? Printed. Print Aquí it. yo difiero quizás algunos casos, pero es, es válidas ambas. Hay gente que tiende como omitir la T. But print it. It's fine. Americans would say like that. But if you want to sound like, no sé, que es como más fácil de recordar que print lleva una T, right? It's obvious. In spelling, usted no puede omitir ninguna letra. So, so you can say print it. I think it's a, a bit British. <laughs> like a British. <laughs> exactly. But just a little bit. <laughs> Actually, like the water. Yes. But water. Mother. Water. Print it. Print it. Or print it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you say print it. Tiene que recordar que sí lleva la T, no es que la puede omitir al escribir print, right? Print it. Yes, what else? No more? Aha, uh -huh. now is the biggest challenge. This was just the introduction. <laughs> the biggest challenge is that you're going to write a 10 line paragraph. Aquí contaron 10 lines. One, two, three, four. Five, five max probably. Where you describe a process that you have to follow in your workplace, use transition. But you know, I'm going to a paragraph of ten lines, the five, sabi. De algún proceso, de lo que ayer describieron puede ser. Yes, like first I have to complete this, this, and this. After that, I do this, this, and this. Then. I complete this, this, and this. Cualquiera de los procedures, ¿ok? Pero usando las transition words y al menos five sentences. ¿La, ¿Las escribe? ¿La, puede ser la que describieron ayer o algún otro procedure. Y después lo comparten con sus partners. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a dar five minutes para que lo escriban y luego que lo compartan. ¿Ok? Pueden ser con los mismos partners. Pero obviamente tienen procedures diferentes, ¿verdad? Porque nadie es compañero de nadie acá. Yes? No. So you have different procedures. And you share the procedures. But traten de escribir. So that you don't forget the use of the sequence words, the sequence words, and that you use the right spelling and the comma, the punctuation. It's very important. Okay, we can use another sequence words too. Or if the same want, sequence words. If you want, you can include others. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mayra. Hello. Hey, Ya tiene adelantado este párrafo, yo ayer no pude estar. Ah, sí, ayer estaba bastante mala todo. <ríe> no, yo creo que podemos escribir, por ejemplo, yo pensaría como lo que hago, como una rutina diaria, por ejemplo, de trabajo. Puede okay. ser, para variar un poco. Va, perfecto. Tú ya lo tienes algo, Cristi. Sí. I don't listen to Perdón, ayer lo escribí, pero no lo guardé. Pero ahorita lo, ahorita lo. <risa> Mayra. No, Mayra, no te okay. digo. 
Y yo diciéndole a, a lo Cristina que no, los procedimientos eran lo de ayer, lo que hicimos ayer, para ahora. Sí. No sé, no sé. Podemos usar eso, dijo la Que lo tenemos pero... que adecuar con primero, después, entonces, finalmente. Pero yo había hecho lo que usamos antes. First yo también. De finally, last. Pero ya voy a adaptarlos, entonces. Va, ok. Mm. Comencemos a trabajar, pues. Hay que escribirlo, pero también al... Yes. Sí. Eso voy a hacer, voy a escribirlo en Excel. Voy a empezar. Education. Oh, share, 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 share. Okay, me dice cuando vean mi pantalla. Now. Okay, the process is. How do you say remesa in English? Okay, let me see if we have any word. Consignment. Look your shot. Ten. Consignment. NM. Right. Okay. Okay. First. We ask the customer the ID number. ID? ID number. Point. Period. After that, we ask the, no the name of the person who sent the money. Period after uh, them. Oh, vamos, ya casi vamos a terminar.
De casi, casi. Olmos. Olmos. No, 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 ya subió ahí cuando, cuando vas así, hay una vuelta así de I made it short. Okay, uh, I've uh, I finished. Okay. Cristina, ya, yeah. finish. Okay. Estaban unos arreglos ahí porque um, después, pero en, en la parte de después, ah, pero <laughs> after oh, that, o sea, en la parte de después de. <laughs> okay. Bueno, primero las damas, ¿quién quiere comenzar? Hey. <laughs> mm, Por orden alfabético nos vamos a ir. <laughs> Ah, pues voy yo. Uh, Cristina. Vaya. Sí. Eh, after, solo déjenme ver. After them. Ok. Eh, um, the procedures. Si tengo una mala pronunciación, corrija. <laughs> the procedures to install the ATM is to first find a suitable location. ¿Cómo se diría Stable. ubicación adecuada? Uh, suitable location. ¿Cómo, perdón? Suitable. 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 Es la palabra que usted dijo es suitable. Suitable, ok. A suitable location. Ok. Um, ok. After that, Tim, the sea, Tim, no, after that, we start a negotiation with the company, price, and term, term, plazo. Them, the team, the team, the team, team. team. the seat, date, and, ¿cómo? Decide, como decidir, de decidir. The sí. seat, date, Side. fecha. Mm -hmm. Decide, okay. Decide, date, and responsibilities for each. Mm -hmm. Finally, it is installing and uh, follow up on the operation, uh, possible issues in the ATM. Okay. Más o menos, me comprendieron. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Bye. ¿Quién sigue? Fermán, vea. Mm, no, primero la dan. No, pero vamos a hacer el último. Sí, no. Okay. Es la regla, vea. Si gustan, les comparto mi, mis pequeños. Vaya. Yes. Sí. Así, sencillo. First, I have to check my email and the... And check the system or revise the customer orders. After that, I write the report and say by email to my boss. Then I continue checking the system and controlling the customer order. And finally, we deliver order to be delivery to customer. Only that. Okay. Um, my paragraph. Uh, first, I turn on my computer for starting work. 
and I take a little bit of, of help and clean my desk. Afterwards, I check the emails, answers, and I create reports and say and of the of controls then i print some document and save in a folder finally send emails to my boss of the daily reports oh, okay the process process for invoice collection el problema es el empleado sale agresivo Siempre sale mm. agresivo. O sea, hay una razón siempre. ¿Del empleado ah, o el cliente? Ah, no, el cliente. El cliente ah. sale agresivo. Uh. Ah. Sale el empleado agresivo. Sí. Aunque <risa> hay. Okay, Ese <risa> día. <risa> de, 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 de Ese <risa> día. El último día de la. <risa> en la empresa, ahora me pareció raro. No siempre. No siempre. Pero casi Uno cree siempre. a veces, ve ahí. Mm -hmm. sí. mm -hmm. Okay. My procedure to make a project budget for a client. I, I, I have to do every time. First, I review or I check the need to the client. After that, I make the calculation of the required items. Then I review the complete budget. And finally, I present the budget to the customers. This is my, my okay. procedure. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Just okay. teacher. We are ready, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> En el anterior no dieron más poco tiempo, ni terminamos de leer todo. Ahora no tienen. All right, volunteers. Let's see, volunteers. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. Um, first, I turn on my computer for starting work and I take a little bit of gel and clean my desk. Afterwards, I check the emails, answers, and I create to reports of um, and controls. Then I print some documents and save in a folders. Finally, send emails to my boss of the daily reports. Awesome, nice, good job. And the procedure you. is to create reports. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <At work. laughs> All right, nice. And you do that like every day. Yes, everything. All, right. All right, another volunteer. Someone else? Me, teacher. No, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, procedure for visit customers. Uh, first, contact the, the in charge of the converted plant. After that, according to the um, hours of visit, then ready the security equipment and equipment necessary for the visit. Finally, arrive the office, the customer on time. Good. Nice. Good Thank job. You. Good job. All right, the reactions as well. Expect the reactions from your classmates. <laughs> All right, another volunteer. Me? Yes, go ahead. He presided a customer very aggressive to one of your employees. 
First, let the client express. After that, respond calmly and paralyze it. Uh, then apologize for the reason, Andrew. Uh, finally, look solution and most important, may the client feel, feel important. Wow, they note. Mayra is an expert <laughs> on how to deal with this type of clients, you see? Nice. Wow. You see how clear you are now when you use the sequence word? I understand better what I'm saying and you understand better what you're saying too. Another volunteer. Yay. Aquí donde todos se pelean por pasar, okay? <laughs> Cuando yo digo, no, es volunteer, todos deben levantar la mano. Y así no hay a quien elegir. Ah, pero si nadie, yo tengo mucha opción a quien elegir. That's an strategy we must use. Mm -hmm. Okay, Isabel. I can read. Okay. Yeah, so thank you, Walter. Thank you. You go next, actually. But Isabel acaba de encender la cámara porque está justo ready para participar. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> My paragraph is um, check the system in my work. Okay, the procedure is to check the system, all right? Yes, uh, first I have to check my email and check the system for reviews the customer orders. After that, I write the report and send the report to my work. My my boss, and then I continue checking the system and controlling the customer order, and finally we deliver orders to be delivered to customer. Nice, good job. In what type what type of, of deliveries do you, do you manage or do you check? Uh, yes, uh, okay. what kind what kind of deliveries do you receive? What kind of orders? Only on the uh, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Deliver the customer order for then deliver it to the next day. Okay, if you have orders in the afternoon, they are delivered the next day. Yes. But what products or what orders? It will be a run of 100 and 100. Entre 100 y 120 pedidos en el día. ¿Pero pedidos de qué? Eh, digamos, para restaurantes, eh, entregamos vinos, licores, oh. eh, para gasolineras. Good este, contacts, ¿sí? ¿sí? Yes. <risa> <risa> Tengan en mente a Mr. Isabel Hernández, ¿ok? For these coming holidays. <risa> Okay, oh, wines, yeah. liquors, so you distribute to gas station, restaurants, supermarkets. Yeah, yeah. Supermarket, oh, yes. Partners. <laughs> Bars. Mm -hmm. And super selectos y prácticamente todo el país. Oh my God. Entonces, para los partners de la clase. <laughs> oh, es, A big discount. Al, estamos a la orden. You see? Eh, pueden visitar los, las tiendas propias, eh, la barrica. Oh my God. Yes, eh, online. Online, they have an online yes. store. Yes. By homework for Monday, everybody check now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, online eh, through the Google app. Also. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, what a great business. ¿Y cuánto tiempo lleva working for that, for that company? How long have yeah. you been working for the company? Eh, un poco más de dos años tengo ahí. Two years and a half, yes. two years and some yes, months. And a, sí. mm, wow, interesting. Did you know that? Did you know that information from Isabel? No, no sabían eso. No le habían preguntado. Ah, vaya, ah, pues oh, de no, nada. Yo me enteré yo. Ah. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ya le saqué la enterar? information. I'm sorry? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice enterar? I found out. Como me di cuenta. Found. Porque es como el, el, oh, el like. pasado de find. Uh, en pasado, uh -huh. I found out. Found. I found out. Uh, I, found, found. I found out. I found out. Out, out. Mm -hmm, I yes. found out. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday I found that. All right. You work with him, right? In a group. That's why. Okay, we have pending yes. Walter, but thank you. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> Very useful information for your colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Walter. You are okay. Pending. Thank you. Uh, well, um, my procedures are a little samples now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I'm a Spanish person uh, in the only music store. Uh, at my work in the morning, first we have to sign the entrance. After that, we have to clean our area of work. Then we can take a cup of coffee with a, a, some of piece of bread if we want. Um, in other hands, we have to call some customer for follow up the sales. In summarize, we have to attend to different kind of clients every day. Nice, in summary. <laughs> okay, great. You use different, different transitions. Yes, you know, as I told you, definitely you are using different vocabulary. That's great. Take advantage. Actually, I'm going to share that, uh, that information I found very useful. So I will share with you. Let me just take a look at this. Plans for the weekend. <clears throat> First, relax. <laughs> <laughs> then, relax. <laughs> nah, tampoco, pero es <laughs> homework. <laughs> Do homework. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> After that, <laughs> rest. Rest. Uh -huh. And finally, take a rest. Take Do nothing. Of... Take care of yourself. <laughs> okay. Ahí se fácil le salen los procedures. <laughs> y el sequence. <laughs> But first relax, then relax, and finally relax. No, first, see pending activities. Because siempre sale todo el montón de cosas que uno ha Ay, on the weekend, on the weekend, I will do it. Yes. First, make a list. Okay. Then... First, way up, wake up. Make a budget. Que no van a gastar todo el money. Drink. Third. Third. Dedicate some time for yourself. Okay? For the family as well. And finally, take care of yourself. Porque a mí se me asusta con esto de los casos que les dije. A mí ya todo el mundo hace como, ah, ya, no, ya, no hay, ya no hay COVID, nada, que no sé qué, pero... <coughs> Ah, this virus will stay forever and ever, I think. Yeah. I agree, yeah, unfortunately. Bueno, thank you very much for attending. Vamos a tomar la última attendance. Y vamos a ver quién es el Who is the choice and one? Exactly, so el todo, the lucky one, to stay for 10 more minutes. Y me piense que ha terminado su Friday. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Viene Halloween. Okay, Adriana. Present. Hello, quiero ver. Christy. Present. Elsie. Fatima. Germán. Present. 
Uh, Hector. Present. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Adivinen quién es el vertudo, Isabel. Lucky. <laughs> the lucky one. Chris. Oh, no, Catherine. Catherine, Catherine, ya se nos fue. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Sam. Present. Vitelia. Walter. Present. And Irma. Yes. Por ahí está. Present, yes. Can you say my name? Wait a minute. Sorry, could you repeat? I don't hear you well. You don't hear me well? No. Okay. All right, can everybody hear me? Yes? No. Yes. Oh, maybe some inconveniences with the connection. Okay. Yes, no problem, don't worry. So we're going to have Isabel stay, don't worry. The rest dismissed. Till okay, Monday. <laughs> See you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Enjoy Happy your weekend. weekend. Happy weekend. Enjoy. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Good night. Night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take Bye. my uh, attendance. Yes, I did. Thank okay. you. No problem. Good night. Good night. Hello, Isabel. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Questions. Yeah. Do you have any yeah. question about the class? Ahorita vemos. <laughs> Ahorita vemos. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Check it out. Algunos apuntes. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Con las sequence words, mm -hmm. no tengo, lo tengo <clears throat> bastante claro. Mm -hmm. Solo que Solo estas cuatro sequence words son o... No, hay muchas más. Les compartí de hecho una más. imagen en mi WhatsApp, en su grupo de WhatsApp. Para que sí tengan como otra idea, ¿verdad? De, de cómo hacer sequence words. Lo único que sí deben este, cuidar es como cuando inician, digamos, a contar algo. Entonces, ¿cuáles sequence words se pueden usar como para decir primero, al, al inicio y cuando... Ya están describiendo algún otro procedimiento, pero ya han dado previamente cuáles se usan para decir qué va en medio o como en the middle. Yes. Entonces, y cuáles se usan como para finalizar. Eso es lo único que deben tener cuidado. Hay algunas sequence words que se usan como para decir first. First of all, at the beginning. Todas esas son como para iniciar. Como decir al inicio, al principio. Y las otras son cuando, ajá, cuando, firstly, right? Las otras son como cuando dice luego, después, entonces, after that, como the, at the beginning, the beginning, como en el, uh, digamos, a mediado del proceso, usamos otras sequence words, ¿ya? Y las que se usan como para finalizar, como para decir, bueno, al final, ya para terminar, para, para resumir, para concluir, ya son otras. Eso es lo único que hay que cuidar. ¿Cuáles son para iniciar? ¿Cuáles son como para la parte del medio? ¿Y cuáles son para la parte de la finalización? La duda, la de interrupción. Bueno, mira. Si me puede volver a repetir, please, que os ahí tienen listo. Veo que hay unas que dice interrupción, como suddenly. Ah, esa, esas, suddenly. Son, esas son como para decir 
Y de repente, es como all of a sudden, suddenly. Estamos, Ajá. estamos en, en, en una conversación y... Y alguien repente... alguien interrumpe, ajá, o alguien se cae, por decir, o alguien aparece, entonces se dice, ups, yes, eso es para la interruption, pero ajá, ese es el como más, usted está narrando o algo va en secuencia y de repente hay una interrupción, como cuando se va la luz, usted dice, I was in class, I was practicing, I was participating, en all of a sudden, there was a blackout. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. La verdad es que sí son bastante. Uh -huh. Voy a tener bastante trabajo. Vocabulary. <risas> sí. Sí, sale como verle a ah, la, la funcionalidad y ya. Se sí, las utilizando, sí. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando iba a contar o va a narrar algo, usted dice, ah, es que fíjate que first we did this and this, then we went that and that and that, and then after that, thirdly, right after, afterwards, yes. Uno generalmente, obviamente, utiliza esto como para dar más orden, para dar secuencia, para organizar la idea, ¿verdad? Y aquí obviamente lo presenta el manual para, para describir procedimientos. Pero no es que estrictamente solo para eso sirve. Okay. That would be it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing the information. Yeah, I think I'm going to have various clients. Eh? No, de verdad, sí. Este, ya me habían preguntado, Fermán me preguntó antes. Entonces, ajá, como, ¿qué es lo que yo hacía? Sí, y le conté. Y ayer, este, esto, le, y sí, distribuimos a nivel de todo el país. Wow, interesting. Y and the, and the product is important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, porque important. aquí no producimos nada de eso, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Pero ni, ejemplo, así como a niveles bien artesanales. Uh, como la cerveza Cadejo, no sé mm -hmm. si. La, mm -hmm. la, esa sí es de acá. Mm -hmm. Y ahí la tenemos también. Uh -huh. Pero de ahí la mayoría como vinos, este, chileno, argentino, californiano, uh -huh. francés. Wow, de, interesante. De todos lugares del mundo. Del planeta. <ríe> yes. Ok. Sí. Perfect. Bueno, thank you so very much for staying. Descanse. Rest. And see you on Monday. Bye. Okay, bye.